Hi, how are you? Welcome to this uh, Fiverr Academy course in the scope of the security chapter and regarding PP proxy build my generic enabler. This is the second lesson of this course in which uh, I will uh, explain you uh, with more detail than in the previous uh, lesson how Wilma generic enabler works. I will also um, show you how to install this component in your own computer, how to register it in uh, Keyrock in the Fiverr IDM uh, portal uh, and how to uh, configure the, the basic uh, parameters that you need uh, in order to uh, start uh, playing with this component. Okay. So, in order to remember uh, why, uh, why uh, do you need uh, to, to use uh, the, this component, uh, I want to summarize the, the architecture, uh, or wh what is the, the, main, uh, the main goal of this uh, component. So, when you have a backend service uh, with, uh, that is exposing a REST API, and you want to add a security layer on top of this uh, API in order to allow the access to some users and to deny the access to other ones, you can introduce uh, here Vilma uh, pep proxy in order to intercept the request that uh, the users are sending to your REST API in order to allow uh, some requests and deny uh, the access to other requests. Okay? How it is possible? Okay, this is possible because uh, every request needs to include in the HTTP header an um, authorization uh, token that will be intercepted by Vilma and uh, Vilma will check with these uh, other generic enablers um, if, if the token is uh, valid in order to access the specific resource that the user is trying to, to access. Okay, so in order to start using Vilma, we need to register it inside the, this uh, generic enablers, okay, inside the Keyrock in order to uh, be able to uh, allow this communication between Vilma and this, uh, this uh, generic enablers. Okay, um, in order to register the Vilma in uh, Fiverr, uh, in Fiverr um, Keyrock generic enabler, I'm going to use, of course, the Fiber Lab environment, that is, a, that is the, the test environment that we provide to you, to the users. So I'm going to, to, do, to do so in live in this uh, Fiber Lab environment. All the demos that uh, I will do during this course will be on this environment, on Fiber Lab. Um, and um, yes, of course, uh, you need to know that uh, Vilma can be configured uh, in both uh, in both uh, ways, okay. You can use Vilma in order to uh, check Keystone tokens that are the default tokens that uh, that Keystone uh, that Keystone the OpenStack component in which is based uh, Keyrock um, use. But in this case, we are going to do uh, to configure Vilma in order to work with all two tokens that are the, the typical tokens that we use in the in the environment. Uh, we have another, another course regarding the Keyrock Genetic Enabler in which we explain how to obtain these uh, tokens, these uh, OAuth2 tokens. So in this, in this uh, course, I'm not going uh, to enter in details about how to retrieve these tokens. Okay? I, I will uh, get a, a token directly and if you want to, to know how to uh, obtain your own tokens, you have to go to this uh, other course because this is not in the scope of this one. Okay, so once uh, we have uh, that authentication token, we have to include in all the requests that we send uh, that we send to to Vilma in this way. Okay, introducing a HTTP header like this one in uh, every request. Finally, some pointers to documentation that uh, will be useful for you in order to understand what we are doing here. Tell the, uh, the source code and the entry in the Fiverr catalog. And finally, the installation guide in which uh, are explained all the steps that I'm going to perform today 
uh, during, the, during the demo. Okay, so that's uh, the introduction to this uh, lesson. I'm going to show you how to install, how to register and how to configure Vilma in your own computer. So, the first thing uh, that we need uh, to do is to go to the um, fireware, to the pep proxy, PEP proxy um, source code web, okay? Uh, of course, the link to this, uh, the link to this um, GitHub project is included in the Fireware catalog, uh, in the Fireware catalog uh, entry of, uh, of uh, Bilma. If you go to the Fireware catalog web page and you search uh, here in enablers uh, tab, the Bilma genetic enabler, here you will find all the documentation related to this uh, genetic enabler and of course um, you will find here in download tabs in download tab the link to this uh, uh, github project okay that is the one that i'm going to show you so here is the source code and here is the the um, the place where, where you can download the the code okay um, so let's clone the repository in, in my computer. Here uh, I can do git clone, uh, enter in the, the URL that I've just uh, copied. And uh, with this, uh, with this uh, command, uh, it is copying here the, uh, the repository, okay? If I enter here in the repository, uh, I can uh, I can view all the files that are included in the in the source code. Okay, the the only file that uh, is important for us in this lesson is the config.js uh, file. Okay, this one. This is a template with the configuration with the basic configuration for start this component. So the first thing that uh, I need to do is to clone this file. Um, to another one uh, without the template uh, extension, okay? That is the one that I'm going to that I'm going to use in, in the code, okay? Okay, so uh, if I take a look to this config file, I can see the basic uh, configuration of this component, okay? The first uh, one is the the port in which I'm. Uh, I want to run this uh, component. The, the default one is the HTTP port, the um, 80 port. Here I can configure uh, Vilma in HTTPS mode. Uh, right now uh, I, I don't need uh, that. And uh, these, three, uh, these three parameters are important because they are the ones uh, to which uh, that are the ones indicating or setting um, where is the endpoint of uh, Keyrock? Okay, in this case, as we are going to use the Fireware Lab uh, Keyrock installation, uh, I will keep uh, the default, the default one. Okay. Um, these uh, following parameters are also important because uh, with uh, these parameters, I'm indicating the the pep proxy. Where is my REST API? Okay, this is the endpoint of the um, backend service that I'm securing in my uh, environment. Okay. In order to show you how it works, uh, I'm uh, going to send a request to uh, Google in order to retrieve the index the index page of uh, Google. So uh, again, uh, I will keep the default one. Okay. Uh, username and password are the username and password of my Vilma pep proxy. These two parameters, I, uh, uh, I have to obtain uh, them when I register the component in Keyrock. That is the thing that I'm going to, to do now. Okay, and then the last parameters are, uh, okay, the catch the time of the tokens. Here I can configure if I'm going to check authorization or not, but this is a thing that I will explain you in the next lesson. Uh, and finally, I can configure public paths and uh, the, the, the token engine that I, that I want to use. As I, as I introduced before, you can use all two tokens or keystone tokens, okay? 
and here a, a magic key that is, is an advanced, uh, an advanced um, configuration that I'm go not going to show you today. Okay, so now the important parameters are this uh, username and password, uh, and in order to um, to retrieve them, I I have to register the PEP proxy in uh, Fireware Identity Manager. Okay, so if I go to the main page of the Fireware Lab uh, account portal and I'm uh, already log in, the first thing that I need to do is to uh, register an, a new application and assign this PEP proxy to, uh, to this uh, application. Okay? The way in which you, uh, you have to register a new application is not in the scope of this lesson, it's in the scope of the, of the Keyrock uh, Generic Enabler, so I'm going to use an application that I uh, have already registered. Okay, if I uh, enter here, as you can uh, hear in the in the um, uh, in the description uh, panel, here I can uh, see that uh, I have a PEP uh, PP proxy um, PP proxy um, option. Okay, this one, and uh, here I can register a new PEP in the uh, in the uh, application, okay? So, clicking in this button, it will generate automatically a username and a password for my new PEP. So, I have to copy these two parameters here in my configuration file, the username and then the password, okay? And uh, everything is configured in my PEP proxy. Okay, of course, uh, now I have to uh, install some dependencies that the, that the pep proxy needs. In order to, to do so, I have to execute this command, npm install, and uh, while it is installing the dependencies, I will show you that here I can uh, reset the password that I am using and I can also delete, uh, delete uh, the, pep, uh, the pep proxy in order to register a, a new one, okay? Um, so uh, once the once the dependencies the npm dependencies are correctly installed, I will show you how uh, how to run this PEP proxy. Okay, so okay now the dependencies are installed and I can run the uh, the server. Uh, in this case, I, I need to use. Uh, um, root uh, root uh, writes because I'm running the, the process in the port 80 that is uh, reserved to, to root users. Okay, so as you can as you can see here, um, he said me that okay the P the PEP proxy has successfully authenticated with uh, Keyrock, and right now I can start sending requests to this uh, to this uh, PEP proxy. Okay, so uh, and that's all for this uh, for this course, uh, for this lesson. Sorry, and uh, in the next one, I will explain you how to uh, start uh, sending requests to this PP proxy in order to validate to validate the tokens. So thank you very much, and see you in the next lesson.